Okay, so earlier we got these ends of the ink cartridges, and we want four of these. We've got two now, so what I'm going to do is just snip each of them in half, right, like this. And I don't really want these to fly away. So now I've got two after having cut it in half. Like that. I've got four total, one for each pen tip on my wheels. When you cut them, the hole is a bit crushed, so just stick the pen tip in and rotate it around a little bit to get the hole back. So now that you've got four of these, we can set those aside for now. Um, and we can start building the frame of the car. So we've got these paint sticks. You could use anything you want. Um, if your car's dimensions are supposed to be smaller than this, I know they make paint sticks that are smaller, or you could just cut them to be smaller. This car's really easy to adapt uh, lengthwise. So the way this works is At the end of this, you're going to have these ink holders glued to the ends of your frame. So they're going to be on there, just like that. And your wheels are going to sit inside of those. So what we want to do now is space these so the wheel will fit in better. This one's So you can just eyeball this. There's a way to make it more exact later. But what you want to do is line up the ends and just, just look down at the pen and just see about where the pen lines up with the edge of your stirring stick. So that looks about right on this end. And down here, move it over a bit more. And you want to have more space inside. You, you want you want your pen tips to be. If you were to lift these up, you wouldn't run into the wheels right now. That's the way you want them to be. Okay, so those look good. Now. What you want to do is take your third stick and get a pen or a pencil or whatever and measure out at the center where you're going to place this. So this goes right here, just draw these lines and it's lined up right here. Um, and then you're going to want to cut this third stick in half. So mark where you want to cut right here. So we've got that. Okay, now keep these two here because we've already got them spaced out. I'm going to grab your hacksaw and I've got my cut mark right here. I just want to cut this right down there. Okay, now that you've got these spaced out and you've got your cross beam cut, you just want to be sure it's right. Right on there. And you're going to make a big H out of your sticks. So that's lined up and you're just going to hot glue right here.
and on the opposite side and just put your cross beam right on there just press it on and wait for it to dry okay now that this is dry we're gonna want to take the other half of the stirring stick and put it further up the frame. What you're going to use the bottom of the hanger for is a bigger lever arm for your mouse trap. Um, so what you want to do is your mouse trap is going to end up sitting right here. You want to take the hanger and line up from here to the back. You want the tip of this to be the back of this about. It'll be better if, it's fine if it moves up this way where you've got space here. Um, try not to make it go too far back though. So about here looks good. Um, I'm not gonna bother cutting this end off because I don't like cutting. So I'm just gonna glue this on here. Okay, now that these are on, what I'm going to do is take the pen holder, the end of the pen, and glue it onto this end here so it's kind of hanging off, right like this. You see that? And I'm going to do that on all four parts. And I'm, I'm going to put some glue on the top as well to hold it on, so we don't want this to fall off. So the frame is made, and we've got two sets of wheels. The set without balloons is going to go on the front. So the way you put this in is you just slide the pen into this end and then I made mine a little tight. I'm going to have to and you can just slide the pen into that end as well. And it's really loose right now. Um but Luckily, you can kind of pull out the pen tips a little bit to make it a more snug fit. You don't want it to be you don't want it to be in there too well, but you want it to be in there enough so it's not going to fall out. Now these can spin in here, and they'll go for a while without um, stopping. So right like that, and now for the back end, um, you've got the wheels with the balloons, and you want the toothpick to be like this. You want the toothpick um, like kind of stabbing over onto the onto the car. So now this one doesn't fit in here at all, so I'm gonna wanna pull the end of this out so it'll fit. And you'll know it fits well if you can spin it and it doesn't stop for a while. So that's a good fit. Okay, so the wheels are in and we can set this down for a little bit and work on the other part. <laughs> 